Hi, Eric Gibo, ericgibo.com, and today Sarai from uh, Sai Tattoo, who is uh, guilty of several of my tattoos. Uh, so we're going to make a shooting. I'm going to explain the technical side of it. You'll see the results. So let's start. So I'm going to ask her what was uh, the kind of picture she wanted to, to, give, to explain now uh, the gear I've been using. Uh, entonces, ¿cuál era el tipo de, de, materia, eh, de foto que tú querías? ¿Qué what, what kind of picture you wanted to, 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 to have? Eh, quería una foto para presentarme como tatuadora en mi página de trabajo. She wanted a picture to uh, present herself as a tattoo artist in her uh, web page or Instagram for work. Quería una foto con carácter y con color. Uh, picture with character and colors. Y el que el objetivo principal sea yo y mis manos. And she's the pro protagonist of the picture with the a tattoo gun, the tattoo machine also. So now I'm going to explain the gear. And by the way, uh, although you don't see Claudia, she's here and she's advising and all this uh, as always. Okay, so let's carry on. By the way, you're probably uh, wondering where I found such a uh, nice, uh, beautiful girl. Well, got a small secret. Uh, you've seen Claudia in other videos. Well, she's her daughter. So here's the result. If uh, the, the form to, 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 make a, to make a cake is like this, well, the small cake is like that. Okay, let's carry on. So, uh, the back, by, by the way, this is in an apartment, so it's a small uh, space, this is a living room, so you see you don't need too much space to make pictures, okay? It's just a way of organization. And you have a black uh, fabric for the background, and then it's going to be a three light uh, source for uh, lighting. A main light that is here, this is a Godox AD200. This is placed in a deep parabolic uh, softbox, uh, 90 centimeters wide. I didn't put the front fabric because I want to have uh, a light a bit contrasty. Okay, that would be the main light, the key light. Then in the background, I've got another octobox. In there, I've got here, I've got a TT600 with a red gel. Uh, this small gel like this, okay, that you place in front of it, okay, this gel, okay, and I've got a grid here because I want to direct light, so it goes to the hair and not too much to the face, and the other side, on the other side, I've got a Yongwo uh, 560, because I don't have to go off of this size, okay, and this one has a blue gel, same with the grid also. Uh, the main, I will be using a Godox X2T to uh, trigger the main light and the TT600 and this one uh, will work as an optical slave uh, just because uh, anyway it's, not, it's fully manual, you cannot uh, remotely uh, uh, configure the, the power anyway. So uh, I'm going to work with an Olympus OMD5 uh, Mark II with a 12 to 40 millimeter 2.8 equivalent to 24 to 80 millimeters if it was in full frame and i'm going to work at 200 iso which is a minimum on my camera uh, f4 because i want some depth of field by the way if you hear some noise this is the ferret uh, that uh, sarai has and claudia they here around with the sarai so you, that's maybe why you hear some noise okay but the ferret is playing around so this is why you hear that and uh, so um, I'm going to work at f4, ISO 200, and uh, the speed 1 200th of, uh, 250th of a second. Why? Because I want to uh, cut the ambient light so you don't see in my picture this uh, spot that is actually uh, giving some light, a uh, spotlight that is giving uh, some light so you can see me on the video, okay? So I'm going to tune the power of uh, each flash uh, to give uh, the right, uh, the the right amount of light for this configuration okay for this setting uh, by the way uh, i'm going to have uh, my main key light and both color lights will be like one or two stop less than the main light i don't want to give equivalent because i want to give some tint of color i don't want to have a really a lot of color in the hair but uh, to, to have something more more or less balanced i'll get more light about one or two stop more on this than on the back so I'm going to measure light. You don't see much uh, Sarai because uh, uh, the light is not getting too much here, okay? So on her face, F4, as I said, okay? So the AD200 is at uh, 164th of power. Then in the back, the Yongwo is at 2.8, at uh, 1 8th of power. 
uh, it's l more power than this one because uh, the flash has less watts, so that's why, uh, but it's actually giving less light, okay? And same thing with the Godox here, 2.8 also, so F4, 2.8, 2.8, so there is one stop of light less in the back, okay? So let's carry on with the pictures. So uh, I've made uh, five shots, you can see, two tests, okay? Just five, I've got the light right now. Uh, I've put uh, the power a bit more on the on the main uh, flash, uh, 164th plus two thirds, okay, so a bit higher. I've put uh, the light a bit higher, so it uh, gets better to the hair, and also uh, I've get the flash a bit closer. Uh, I could have put a bit more power, but I prefer to be a bit closer. I've got space enough, so this way uh, the light is a bit softer. Although I use the grid, it's very directional, but it's a bit uh, softer. So that's it. So, uh, now it's a bit uh, more light here and that's it, so let's carry on. Uh, the problem of uh, working in a really small space is that uh, very often you see the gear, the lighting gear, like a, a stand or the border of a soft box or whatever. So if you see the picture, you probably think, wow, that's strange, everything fits in there. No, not everything fits. In Photoshop, I've erased uh, parts uh, that were appearing, actually. So uh, this is why you see everything clean, but it does not actually this way. Uh, but sometimes, even in a large studio, you do have that because you want the lighting to be really close to the person. So anyway, you will see softbox or stands or whatever. So you'll have to do some uh, post-production cleaning anyway. Well, we're going for a crazy moment of Sarai, we're going to try with uh, getting some smoke. If you hear the fire brigade, is because uh, well, we've missed it, okay? So let's, let's try. So this smoke, uh, they are small uh, tablets we bought in AliExpress. It doesn't work too well, but it's okay. It's very short, but that's okay. It's really cheap, so you can try. Radical change. Let's carry on. Don't hit me, I promise next one will be better. I promise, I promise. <laughs> Well, we survived. <laughs> okay, so uh, thank you very much, Sarai. Uh, if you want uh, to make have a tattoo with her, if you're in Tenerife, for come to the Canary Islands, I'll leave uh, her Instagram in description, and also uh, it's uh, say say dot tattoo. You can search, uh, look for her on the on Instagram. If you want, you can share this video on social networks. If you have not done yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a small button down here and there's a small uh, bell. If you click on the bell, get notified when I upload a new video. My website, erichibo.com. If you have any question, you can leave a comment below. If you have tattoo questions, you can contact directly uh, Sarai uh, on Instagram. Also leave you links of my gear on Amazon, links to other parts of my YouTube channel, and also my PayPal account in case you want to make a donation. Thank you very much. Take care of yourself. Thank you, Sarai. And goodbye! Bye.